In this video, I'm gonna go over a simple basic tutorial on how to actually change or upgrade your RAM in your computer. In this example, we are using Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 2x16 kit running at 3200 megahertz. Now this is important because you do not want to mix and match your RAM. You want to have the same RAM with the same frequency um, at all costs because if not, you will probably run into issues. Another thing to note before you would order any RAM is to go ahead and make sure your motherboard does support uh, either the upgrade you want or whatever RAM you have. In this case, of course, I do have DDR4, so I am going to be installing more DDR4 because that's the only thing that will fit on this motherboard. Uh, you cannot put DDR5 on a motherboard that only supports DDR4, of course. Also, in my case, I'm going to be installing an additional two sticks in addition to my first two sticks, uh, bringing it to a total of four. So make sure if you're doing something like that, um, that you do have four RAM slots because some motherboards might only have two, so if you're trying to install four sticks of RAM, then you're just gonna be out of luck. So make sure you check on that before you get started. Now, some memory kits on some motherboards are going to be locked in place by uh, basically two connectors. You're gonna have one on this end. They look about like this, um, and they just kind of snap like that. Um, you just wanna push down, straight down on them pretty gently, and they should kind of fold out. Um, my motherboard only has the lock on one side, but keep in mind that some might have two and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you undo both of those before you take your old RAM out if you are changing it out um, and make sure you undo both of those or one of them um, if you have only one. And then you wanna pull your RAM straight up and out. Uh, make sure you're not bending it or twisting it for any weird angles. You wanna make sure your RAM is always uh, going straight up or straight down in. In this case, I'm not taking these ones out, so I wanna make sure that it is locked in place and they're you know, pushed down good and all the way snapped in. I've got my memory sitting here ready to go in. So all I'm gonna do is go ahead and undo these latches just by pushing them down like that. And now it's ready because when you do push the new sticks straight down into these slots, it's going to automatically lock in and you should hear and feel uh, these connectors lock in whenever you do uh, get it in there. Again, perfectly straight um, and even. Another thing to take into consideration is if you notice there's like a single gap here in the RAM, um, it's not equal on both sides. There is a right and wrong way to put it in. Um, in this case, it's going to be easy for me because I can simply uh, look at the text or the you know the wording on the top and uh, match it up with the direction that one's going. But it's really easy anyways. Just make sure when you look at your RAM slot, um, you're lining up uh, that gap right there um, with that spot uh, in your actual slot, which you can kind of see there. So now while recording, I'm going to attempt to carefully uh, just kind of drop it in there. And you can see it's on level. So what I'm going to do is just uh, mess around with it until it's definitely in level. So now I have it sitting very flush and it's in perfectly straight. Um, and as you can see, the clip is still out, so it's not locked in. So what you want to do is now just apply pressure straight down. Um, and again, make sure it's definitely in level and your latches are both undone. So it's able to just drop right in um, in the right direction as well. So now if you listen, you might be able to hear it. We'll see if it picks up on the video. There, you could hear, at least on the right side where mine has it, um, it definitely snapped in. So now we're basically just gonna repeat that same thing for the final slot. In my case, the cooler is a little bit in the way, but I'm not gonna have to remove it. Um, but I will put the camera down for a second so that I can actually use two hands. Now I've got my final stick in there uh, pretty evenly. All I have left is to just push it down and snap it in. So we'll again, see if we can hear it. There it is, locked in. Um, now we have four sticks of RAM. This is gonna make 64 gigs in this computer. Now I'm gonna actually turn on the computer, make sure it works, and also show you how to make sure your RAM is running at full speed um, in your BIOS. If you do, did buy RAM or upgrade RAM, or maybe your RAM's just not running at full speed, we're gonna make sure you do have it running full speed. Now the PC has successfully started. What you wanna do is right click and click Task Manager. From here, you can go to the Performance tab, Go to your memory and make sure that, uh, in this case, I have all 64 gigs showing. You can see right here. Um, now what you wanna do is check your speed here. In this case, I bought 3200 megahertz speed uh, DDR4 memory. And as you can tell, it is running at the full speed. Now if this said a lower value than the 3200 it's supposed to be running at, I'm gonna show you how to fix that now. We're gonna be restarting the computer and as it's booting back up, we're gonna spam the delete key on our keyboard so that we get into the BIOS. Now here we are in the BIOS of my build. Everyone's motherboard and BIOS is gonna look probably a little bit different, so keep that in mind. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you basically the options that you're gonna need to look for. 
in this case, right here on the front page of my BIOS, I can actually see um, that if I didn't have this RAM set to run at the 3200, I would only be getting 2133, which of course isn't the most ideal for the maximum performance. And you will see a good FPS increase in your games by doing this. So in this case, I'm on something called easy mode. Um, you wanna come down to find something like more advanced settings uh, in some cases. And what we're gonna actually do is you wanna find basically a way to overclock your RAM or memory. On this computer uh, or on this BIOS, I have to go to AI tweaker, and then I have to go to AI overclock tuner. Then from auto, I go to DOCP, which it might be called in your BIOS. If it's not, I'll show some other things on screen that it might be called because you can look for those within your BIOS. Um, but basically you just wanna click uh, DOCP on this, enable that. And now mine already has it set here to 3200 megahertz. And then from this point, you do not need to do anything. You really should only need to change, um, you know, like that one thing. You're basically just enabling something you don't need to mess with anything like voltages or anything complicated. Um, if you do that, you might end up uh, screwing up somehow. So again, I'll have on the screen the other things that you might need to look for. Mine in this case is called DOCP. Um, and now as you can see, it's showing the RAM DDR4 um, is now going to run at the 3200 megahertz speed. And it's already basically configured to go ahead and do that. Just make sure when you're all done, don't forget to save and exit.